Well, that's a good question. Thank you. With the Soviet Union's government dismantled, we can now share the benefits of the free market with those who have been excluded. The Allied occupation forces are only there to ease this transition. <laughs> I mean, there has been rumors of a possible resistance, but so far, I'm glad to say, we haven't seen anything of the sort. The Russian people have welcomed us with open arms. They've denounced their former leaders and have embraced liberty and opportunity. Commander, these are dark times, are they not? We are very grateful that you have joined our cause. The people need leadership if they are to rise against the Allied oppressors. Our resistance movement is well underway, but we have a problem. Our scientists, who are instrumental to our new weapons development, have mysteriously gone missing. Our scouts have discovered suspicious research facility protected by Allied forces. We must search there for any clues regarding the whereabouts of our scientists. You'll be granted only a small force. It is all we can spare. Find out as much as you can, comrade. Udachi. Commander, several recon teams are stationed around the area. Hopefully their combined reports will shed some light on what the Allies are trying to accomplish here. Today, the world's largest technology firm, Future Tech, again made headlines when hundreds of activists protested outside their corporate headquarters. Future Tech spokesperson Kelly Weaver responded to the rising public concern over her firm's latest project, the Sigma Harmonizer. Protesters spoke out against the chronosphere when that was in development as well. It's normal for there to be some fear and skepticism when it comes to change. But I can assure you, that public safety is our number one priority at Future Tech. More worries were raised when EU President Rupert Thornley recently approved a trillion dollar contract with Future Tech. There's grave public concern regarding the apparent lack of government oversight. Future Tech's advances have improved our lives and brought us unmatched prosperity. I mean, if not for their technology, we wouldn't be where we are today, would we? I mean, if we can't trust Future Tech, who can we trust? <laughs> I can't believe this. Future Tech has full support from the Allies, even though they have been kidnapping our scientists for their own devices. We have located another secret research facility. This time they had the audacity to locate it in Mother Russia herself. Protect our people and put an end to whatever they are doing there. Dasvidaniya. There are reports of an attack on a remote Future Tech research facility in northern Russia. Local citizens apparently had no idea that such a facility was even located there. Mr. President, what sort of research was Future Tech working on in such a remote part of Russia? Uh, well, first, may I just reassure people, our first concern right now is finding the terrorist who perpetrated this cowardly attack. Now, I have full confidence that Future Tech is dedicated to making our world a better place. But, of course, they're employees. They can't be expected to build us a better future if they're working in fear of their very lives. Now, excuse me, we're late. Thank you. It looks like our Cold War is heating up. Our agents have traced the source of Thornley's reinforcements from your mission in Siberia. The troops came from a military base located a half a world away in the Yucatan. The Allied command doesn't even know about this base. If they're not about to stop future tech, then we will. Whatever this group is building will surely be used to keep the Soviet people under their boot heel. Go to the Yucatan and destroy these forces which are protecting future tech. Allied troops have been deployed to protect Future Tech's controversial new Sigma Harmonizer. It's scheduled to go online in the next few days, despite rising concerns as to its true purpose.
Future tech may have fooled the rest of the world into letting them build this machine, but do we know the truth? With this new device, that deceitful President Thornley could debilitate the Soviet Union forever. We cannot let this Sigma Harmonizer go online. You must stop them, or our future will be extinguished. This is it. The location of the Sigma Harmonizer. Future Tech has a massive base covering the island. Before you can launch an attack, you will need to set up a base of your own. Be careful. As of now, they aren't aware of your presence. I can assure you that Future Tech's board of directors knew nothing of Thornley's personal involvement in the Harmonizer project. And to make sure nothing like this ever happens again, we're putting in place additional security protocols. Future Tech is committed to prosperity and the public good. And we look forward to providing the world with a better tomorrow. The Allied leaders have called to thank us for putting down this maniac Thornley. In fact, as we speak, they're pulling their forces from our territory so that they may increase security within their own. We have gained their trust, comrade. And now we will begin again to rebuild the glorious Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. The people thank you, Commander.